The two abstracts address the issue of immunohistochemistry that is much easier to do, much cheaper, and it can be done in any uh, pathology laboratory. RAS1 positive patients represent 1 to 2 percent of the NLCLC patients. It's very important to catch them because we have a highly potent treatment, crizotinib, that has been recently FDA and EMEA approved. Crizotinib induces at least 69 percent of response rate, and the PFS ranged from uh, 9 to 19 months, so it's really highly potent. Those patients are usually never smokers and women. To have the diagnostic of these patients, usually you, you, we used to uh, take the FISH test as the gold standard, but FISH is quite a difficult test, it's very long. <music> The first study is a Canadian uh, survey within 14 pathology labs and they have compared the FISH test and the immunohistochemy uh, test for ROS1 and they have shown that the immunohistochemistry can be done in any type of lab with very good results and very good concordance with the FISH. The second study uh, addressed the issue of testing ROS1 in cytological uh, specimen. In this study, almost 300 specimens were tested by immunohistochemistry for ROS1, and the results were very good, very highly correlated with fish. So it's, it means that you can now diagnose a ROS1 patient based on a cytology specimen. So today we can say that the strategy to diagnose a ROS1 positive patient is to first test EGFR, KRAS, ALK, and if the three of them are negative, you can test ROS1 first with a immunosochemistry, and if it's positive, confirmed by FISH.